Okay, this is just a quick review of the Raspberry Pi in a Pelican case build that I did. And uh, this is a, based on a concept made by Jay Dosher from the website back7.co. He calls this a quick recovery kit. And I think it's a fantastic concept. Basically what it is is a Raspberry Pi uh, mounted to a seven inch touch screen that's all housed with this plastic frame. And we have these extension cables attached to it. And uh, one addition I made is I put a solid state drive inside the case for some extra storage. But I really love this concept. It really gives it a laptop type of feel and it uh, feels like a, a small piece of military hardware in some ways, uh, but it's very creative and, and absolutely love it. Makes for a good prop. Uh, one of the additions that I made was actually adding this keyboard. I found this keyboard online. It's a seven inch. keyboard designed for uh, tablets and it's Bluetooth. It's the same concept. It's just a press fit for this frame that I designed and I'll put the files in the links below and go to Thingiverse and you can download and print this if you'd like to put this keyboard in your, in your build. But it's just another press fit. Um, it's a seven by five inch Bluetooth keyboard. The brand was B Winner. I found it on Amazon or eBay. Uh, both of those places seem to have it. It's not very expensive. Another addition I made was two SD cards, uh, slots here for extra storage if you want to play around with operating systems. And this channel here is important. Uh, I put this in so when you close it, it doesn't interfere with any uh, antennas or the uh, power plug or this bolt uh, that sticks out of the frame here when you close it up. So it latches together like that, it's waterproof. Uh, dust proof. You can take it with you anywhere you want to go and uh, you can power it off of a battery pack. This is an Anchor 1300 milliamp battery pack. I ran it the other day for almost six hours and it still had some charge left in it. Um, it does a fine job. So anyways, I'll leave some uh, links below to Jay's website as well as uh, to Thingiverse so you can print the frame for the keyboard and I hope that helps you out.